Hoosiers is an initiative from RTV6 that works to connect you to jobs, career development resources, and training programs. So RTV6 is telling stories that focus on opening doors, growing skills, and finding new options for your job and your life. This is RTV6's Hiring Hoosiers Report. Thanks for staying with us. At first glance, a job at your local Waffle House might not strike you as a lucrative career move, but think again. Our Nicole Griffin visits Waffle House on Emerson Avenue to find out what opportunities they've cooked up. How are you doing today, sir? Very good. Good. Wonderful. Monica McClendon has more than 20 years of experience working in the food industry. From fine dining to bartending, she now finds herself cooking hash browns while managing a local Waffle House. Never really thought about it, you know, Waffle House. But as soon as I researched the company, I was like, this is everything that I wanted. BLT on too. Good benefits, paid time off, and the part she loves most, the friendly faces she sees every day. We know their name, we know what they eat, we're worried about them if they don't show up. They're worried about us if we don't show up. How are you guys doing today? I come here because they're exceedingly friendly. The food is excellently cooked. We've never been dissatisfied. There are more than 1,800 Waffle House locations across the country. 17 of those are right here in central Indiana. And right now they are hiring for hourly positions like servers all the way up to store managers. It's a level playing field and, you know, those who come in and perform the best really have the best opportunities. Jordan Davis started off as a store manager at Waffle House, but he's now a division manager in charge of eight local stores. Most people don't realize what a great career opportunity that it is. A great company, and it's all about the hourly employees and the customers. I mean, that's that's why I'm here. That's what I do every day. Managers receive extensive training. Four days at Waffle House University in Georgia, and after that, they learn the basics of running a business and eventually how to be a leader and build relationships with not only their employees, but also the customers. It's an amazing company to work for. Nicole Griffin, RTV6. Thanks, Nicole. And Waffle House is looking for employees who love interacting with people, have a drive to work hard, and eventually have goals to move up in the company. If you're interested, head to HiringHoosiers.com. And 90 jobs and just as many jobs to fill the major barriers for military members entering civilian jobs. And Retail Giant's efforts to get coding in classrooms. Rafael Sanchez recaps the week in Hiring Hoosiers. This week in RTV 6 is Hiring Hoosiers. It's an ambitious effort to hire 90 people in 90 days. It's not easy. So it's pretty much running a small city of some people that don't want to be there. The Marion County Sheriff's Office needs 43 new dispatchers and 47 new detention deputies. Deputies who will deal with hundreds of inmates from processing to preparing them for court. I can compare it to being in the Marine Corps uh, because it's that type of family environment whereas we have to look out for one another. And those who work in the Sheriff's Office say this training ground can provide upward movement. I started out as a 9-1 dispatcher and then quickly was able to get promoted to control operator. Culture class. We explore the obstacles military members face as they try to enter the civilian workforce. They always put team above self. So when we go to job interview, we fail miserably because we have never been able to talk about ourselves. And what we do is tell them, once you get your foot in the door, go back to being that team leader, that teammate. And the local group Operation Job Ready Veterans helps them land that job. 400 open positions for young people. These are the kinds of summer jobs that can open doors and minds to a lifetime career. We learned responsibility, time management, um, people skills, how to handle confrontation, how to problem solve. Many Indy Parks professionals get their start in parks positions. And these summer jobs teach lessons on how to be a good worker. You know, showing up on a regular basis, all that stuff gets built, you know, when a young person is 16 and, and older getting these jobs. Amazon getting into high school education to fill the computer science gap. At first I originally wanted to be an engineer, but then when I got on my hand when I got my hands on this course, it kind of 
made me go into, into like the computer science path. Students like Solomon are learning basic coding. Pike High School, one of 23 Indiana schools using the Amazon course. It's a four-part kindergarten to career program aimed at educating students from underprivileged communities. It's important for everybody to be learning this stuff. Computer science is more than just coding. It's also the user experience. When I think of the word engineering, I think of problem solving and developing the next thing. So yeah, you could build a bridge, you could design a car. Between now and 2030, tech-based jobs are going to grow. Ashley Gordon is working on improving the next generation of battery power. She says she's often among only a few women in the room as an engineer. And that could change, she says, by exposing kids to math and science-based career options. Getting introduced to what it means to be an engineer sooner. So whether it's taking tours of facilities like this one or other ones where they're designing and creating new things, or if it's um, having folks come in and do like the career day and really explaining, because I didn't get a lot of that growing up. That's why local groups like Women and High Tech are committed to mentoring females to get them into science-based fields. Each of these stories highlights a path you can take if you want to better your situation and your skills. Get involved right now at HiringHoosiers.com. And when we come back, a job fair of heroic proportions, the goal getting our military veterans connected to good jobs. Third people committed to be the best. On Monday, Hiring Hoosiers introduced you to the critical work of a local veterans group. Operation Job Ready Veterans works with veterans making the transition to the civilian world. Today, they held their job fair, which involved numerous companies from the Indianapolis International Airport to the Marion County Sheriff's Office. Graduates of the program complete a week-long seminar before passing out resumes and interviewing with employers. In certain situations, a lot of people are not, know, not knowing where to go. And to me, and even in my situation, trying to get myself grounded is what's important. We have information on the work of Operation Job Ready Veterans on our website at HiringHoosiers.com.